In this tutorial, we are going to test a relationship of regression between motivation and achievement uh, using SPSS and interpret the results. So we can know that motivation can have a positive impact on achievement. So this relationship can be tested using a regression test. So in this case, we have two variables. So we have simple linear regression in which uh, case the independent variable here is motivation or we call it also the predictor and the dependent variable or the outcome variable is achievement. So we want to see the extent to which motivation has a positive, negative or no impact on achievement and the extent to which this uh, impact is statistically significant or not. To do this on this basis we go to analyze and then we are going to go to regression and then linear regression. So we are going to put motivation in the independent box and achievement in the dependent box. So here for statistics, we can choose some assumptions like collinearity diagnostics, part and partial correlations because within regression we have correlations, uh, descriptives, R square, change, Darwin Watts test. So these are just uh, uh, for collinearity, for other assumptions like linearity, among others. So click continue for plots. We are going to choose Z predictor and Z residual. So Z predictor in the X axis and Z residual in the Y axis to have a regression plots like histogram. And click continue. Uh, then we can go to options. We can keep it as it is. So in case we have Missing data, SPSS deals with it automatically, like we can replace with the mean or exclude listwise or pairwise. We keep it as it is. So we can replace with the mean here. Click continue. And then we can keep the method as enter because we have different types of uh, regression, like hierarchical regression, stepwise, remove, backward, and forward. So for simple linear regression, we keep it in it as enter. And then we click OK. So here is the result. As you can see here, the mean and the standard deviation are to some extent uh, similar. The n refers to the sample size in each uh, variable. Here is correlations, as you can, or correlation test. As you can see, we have achievement motivation, among others, along with their coefficient and significance level. And here is the method. Uh, so the model here does not seem to be practical because these data uh, is missing. Normally here the p-value should be statistically significant to say that the model fits the data. And these are the constant, the beta. So here the beta is uh, 1, which, which means 100%. And if the p-value is uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.00, this means that there is a statistically significant positive impact of motivation on achievement. So these are the results in brief. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon in another tutorial. Bye for now.